Carl Barat. I'm in Glasgow, H&M. It's pretty unusual to be playing in a clothing shop as opposed to a record shop, but I guess the two are becoming intrinsically linked uh, the way things are going. But, yeah, it should be good. I'm looking forward to it. I like entered to the gig like 500 times <laughs> and entered and won. So I've never been to a gig in a uh, in an H&M or any fashion shop before. It's the uh, intimacy of it. Obviously, it's you know a very small uh, venue anyway. Since we won the tickets, oh, I've never seen Carl before. Plus, I'm a massive Libertines fan, of it, so it's good to find actually see like, genuinely see like see them. I guess. The way, it's always worked, but the way it's worked in the last sort of decade or two uh, is that fashion has followed music really. I mean, I, I, it really has because I remember when we had all our dirty old clothes from Oxfam back in like 1999, and then uh, and, and we got a record deal, and, and people started to sort of take note of that, like the dirty leather jackets and ripped up jeans. And then they, 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 a designer came down from Dior and just literally took photos of everything, copied it, disappeared, and then. You know, we felt a little bit robbed, but then he came back and gave us our outfit five times, uh, like five, five pairs of trousers, five jackets, and, and all like pristine, and so that it was all right. I think on tour, like, a, a good leather jacket is kind of a bit of a suit of armour. I don't get butterflies before a gig, I get like, harpies and pterodactyls beating away on my body, and that's never left me. Once they're there, then they'll take off and, and then, uh, yeah, I'll have to hit the ground running. When we get on stage and you get into a song, it's like you're getting into a, it's almost like an acting role, but if you play the same song every night, you've got to mean it every night, you know, you can't see it. I mean, you have to be totally focused and immersed in it, so that's what you think of first, and then, and then when you look up and see what the crowd are doing, they're either with it or with it or against it, and usually they're with it. But then if they're against it, then sometimes it makes you play a bit, a bit harder. And uh, you, you've got to commit to it, haven't you? We are not afraid of anyone. It was amazing. I kind of forgot I was in a clothes shop, to be honest. Apart from when Anthony came in, just in, in the dress. Glasgow crowd, man. Never let you down. I did get a big stack of sunglasses as well, and, um, and some tour underwear. <laughs> you, you didn't know what it was going to be, because they're not often in clothes shops, so you didn't know if it was just going to be really calm or if it was going to go crazy, but we sang my routine song, so of course it was going to be crazy. <laughs> I, I love the t-shirts and stuff. Go over that! <laughs> Absolutely outrageously phenomenal. Awesome. Right. Thumbs up. Beautiful. It's your name, all the way. Country.